Hello everybody, it's me, Dana, and I'm here with your weekly intuitive guidance reading for the 8th of September through to the 15th. Okay, so I've been sitting here shuffling the cards and asking for a general message for all of us. I did want to share with all of you that uh, one of the announcements that I was going to make um, I didn't get out there and get brave enough to share it yet, but here it goes. Um, I am making my, uh, creating my own happiness guidance deck. So it's, it's all about, come on, let's get happy. And honestly, a lot of people, when it comes to manifesting or empowered thoughts and knowing how to bring in the things that we want, how to really get into the driver's seat of law of attraction, it's a big, big switch for them. Most, most people are sitting in the passenger seat and um, they're getting mad at the driver, but uh, they're not realizing they're the driver and they need to get in that chair. See what we got. Golden memories. The moon train. And the goddess. Okay, well, just off the top of my head is. Um, well, golden memories, there's some, uh, if we're going to look backwards, look at the highlights, look at the stuff that's worth to look at the beautiful dreams and memories that you had of the past and um, believe that some of them are actually uh, coming to fruition and happening for you. I'm just uh, looking for the guidebook and I will uh, read from that. And then the moon tree, well, it just looks like, you know, the whole world is opening up for you. And the goddess is about stepping into uh, and accepting your power and just knowing that you really, really do have what it takes. Okay, go to memories. Someone is thinking fondly of you at this moment, recalling a golden memory from times gone by. Know that love and friendship live forever within our hearts. Even when we pass from this world, we leave behind a loving memory in the hearts of those dear to us. Hmm. Well, that's a beautiful message, isn't it? That lets us know that, you know, we do make an impression and we do. We do leave that with people, whether we're with them or not. So try and make those memories and those impressions with the people that you come into contact with throughout your life. Be golden memories, okay? And honestly, if that's your intention, that's what you're going to get. You bring about what you think about, okay? That's what I always say. Your moon tree. Moon tree, moon tree, moon tree. Ideas you once had are about to resurface from within your memory. Conditions are right for you to fill these ideas with positive energy. Expect positive results. I can't get butterflies when I think about that because I've had all these projects that I wanted to do popping up in my face in the last two days. And yeah. Okay. The mysterious and somewhat peculiar image on this card is here to help you reflect on those ideas. Know they are well founded. Grounded within fertile soil, it is now safe for you to branch out. Enjoy the experience. Well, that, that just gives me... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like those ideas that you had and now now is the time to, to share them. And, the people and the places uh, to share them with are, are showing up in the world and in your world. And um, 
So, you know, it's not as big of a leap as you think it is. That's the message I'm getting. It's just like, you can just say it and it's going to be met with, yeah. That sounds like a brilliant idea. I can help with that. Doesn't that feel good just to even think that? Now start knowing it. Start believing it. And the last card. The goddess. The card relates to issues of creativity, intuition, reflection, and nurturing. It's kind of like a combination of the first two cards. <laughs> um, look at the image and note what feelings emerge. The lady in the picture has the moon reflecting behind her. The moon, being feminine in nature, constantly reflects light. She is here to remind you of your own intuitive, creative, and nurturing powers. Powers. That's very key. I'm getting that. These, these are powers. Not everyone has these skills. So those of you that do, you need to start understanding that these are gifts. These are powerful, powerful gifts. And we're here to make big changes in the world with those gifts. They've never been looked at as powerful gifts before. Okay? Being sensitive and empathic, those are powerful, powerful gifts. Reflect upon the past few months. Have you lost touch with your intuitive, creative, and nurturing power? Perhaps you're not fully utilizing these energies. <laughs> there is much to be gained by reconnecting with these qualities. Tap into them by connecting with the goddess who holds the essence of creation. You can start to do this by paying attention to what you feel in your heart. Whether you are male or female, the goddess is a reflection of the beauty and power you hold within you. She is an aspect of who you are and yearns for your embrace. So, there you go. Take those memories and golden moments from the past and those ideas and that creativity and nurture them. Nurture yourself celebrate these beautiful, beautiful gifts and powers and start utilizing them. For those of you who are interested, um, I'm going to be putting out my own set of um, happiness guidance deck. If you're interested in those, let me know. That's it. That's your guidance for the week. And uh, smiles to all of you, everybody. It's me, Tana.